Hello, I am Dr. David Burns. I'm a professor emeritus at the University of California, San Diego School of Medicine. Chronic bronchitis uh, is the chronic cough that smokers have. Okay. It is, by definition, a chronic productive cough for three months out of the year for two years in a row. But in reality, with most smokers, uh, it's a continuous cough. It usually is fairly mild, and often smokers don't notice it. But what's happening is the cigarette smoke that you inhale into the lung is causing irritation to the tubes that you breathe through. Uh, that irritation causes those tubes to swell and causes other cells to come in and uh, thicken the walls of those airways. When you do that, much like a tube that, uh, or a, a pipe that develops concretions inside the pipe, the narrower that tube gets, the less and less air can flow through the inside of that tube and the more difficulty you have moving air through. So the chronic productive cough is often a hallmark of changes in the upper airway, in your trachea and mainstem bronchi. Uh, those changes are increased mucus production and increased thickening uh, of those airways. And then the more serious uh, change for the development of chronic lung disease occurs in the very small airways that are out close to the part of the lung that actually exchanges gas, the alveoli of the lung, where your body brings your blood in contact with the air so that you can absorb oxygen and get rid of carbon dioxide. Those little tiny airways, airways that are only about two millimeters in size or less, develop narrowing and inflammation and ultimately some fibrosis. And that can lead to a fixed and irreversible uh, problem where you can't get enough air out and that means that you can't get enough air in and you're chronically short of breath which is one of the symptoms of chronic obstructive lung disease. <laughs>